Hello guys, and welcome back to the Teeniest Pinecone. It's Jess, back again with another plan with me for the month of July, and boy, am I excited for this one. I know I say that literally every time, but I really, really am excited for this theme. It's one of my favorites that I've ever done. The theme is coffee shop, and it's really special to me because I was a barista for eight years. I love everything about coffee culture, so we are going to get into it and start off our theme with a coffee guide. Um, I'm using my Sakura Pigma Micron Fineliner to outline these little illustrations of all the different kinds of cups. And then I'm taking this reddish brown Faber-Castell brush pen to write the word coffee in fancy calligraphy font, as well as my Tombow Fudenosuke to finish off this header. Now I'm sure all my fellow baristas can attest to the fact that approximately 50% of the job is explaining to people the difference between a latte and a macchiato, asked by the same people every single time. That and whether your Barnes & Noble Cafe accepts Starbucks gift cards, but that's a different beast entirely. So after I colored each little individual section, I ended up taking my fine liner again and writing in the name of each beverage, along with the different parts that make them up. So first we have a solo espresso, a doppio espresso, a ristretto shot, then an espresso con panna, affogato, an americano if you're a weakling, just kidding. Then we've got our coffee, cafe au lait, latte, cappuccino, latte macchiato, and a mocha. Let me know down below what your favorite coffee drink is. Mine changes all the time, but if I had to choose, if we're not talking about holiday drinks like the pumpkin spice, because chef's kiss, that is my jam, I think I'd have to go with a dirty chai. But moving right along, we are on the title spread, and I just decided to draw a little um, behind the counter scene of a coffee shop. Um, I've included the espresso machine, of course, along with some bags of coffee, under counter fridges, some mugs hanging on the wall, and the title July is meant to be like those wooden block letters that you put on shelves. And then once the mini calendar is laid out, I am just coloring the rest with my Tombow dual brush pens. And then I decided I wanted some coffee rings around the pages. I considered um, using my actual coffee cup to make these, but wasn't sure I wanted to risk making a mess that was more trouble than it was worth to clean, so I ended up just using a tan colored Tombow and thought it looked pretty realistic. Next is the monthly spread, and I've written July again in that block letter font between the shelves. And I've added a little bit of greenery next to them because are you really a coffee shop if you don't have a couple live plants? I don't think so. So I've made a calendar on the bigger side for this month and each square is five by six grid dot spaces in case that's helpful for anyone. And I've used a combination of my Tombows and Faber-Castell brush pens to make a gradient. And went back in with the Tombow Fudenosuke to label each day of the week. I then took a medium brown color and drew out a couple boxes and labeled them goals and notes and then drew out what used to be my favorite method of brewing coffee, a French press. One of the good things about using a French press is that it comes with a mesh strainer rather than a paper filter, so you don't have the filter absorbing the oils and the flavors. You get a much more balanced, um, flavorful cup of coffee than you would with a drip machine. It was one of the only ways I could ever drink coffee black. And the quote I have chosen here is, but first, coffee. And being from LA, it was very, very easy to make that a reality. And with 
have the quote finished, I have taken my Uniball white gel pen to number in the darker areas of the gradient and use my black fine liner for the rest. Next up are the habit and mood trackers and I've just begun by drawing another plant. This one's much taller than the last one. And then I'm going to draw um, some lighting because what's a coffee shop without some ambiance? And the coffee maker that I've chosen to draw on this page is the Chemex, which I've never used myself. But the design is beautiful and come to find out it has some health benefits as opposed to more traditional brewing methods. It is a type of pour over and so it comes with a paper filter. And with the paper filter, while it might not be as full bodied as a French press, the filter aids in lowering acidity levels and a chemical compound that causes your bad cholesterol to rise. So while it may not be as full bodied, if you're looking for a cleaner cup of coffee, this is the maker for you. Going back to the spread, I am once again writing in those block letters. My idea for this particular spread was to replicate a kind of menu on the back of a coffee shop wall. I've always liked the look of the manual type menus with the scrabble kind of lettering. So that's what you'll see after some of this coloring is finished. I have five habits this month and each will be an item on the menu. And for the mood tracker, I decided to draw a type of mug or glass for each day. And rather than doing a color code, I'm going to do a volume level. So the worst day will be the most empty cup and the best day will be the most full. Next up is the brain dump spread, and this was inspired by the kind of outdoor sign situations that a lot of coffee shops have on the street. I used one of my black Tombos to emulate the chalkboard on these signs. The place that I worked actually did not have one of these signs until like the very, very end of my time there. So the limited amount of time that I did have with it, I always tried to be the one that got to design it. So now I'm taking my Uniball white gel pen again and writing in brain dump in your basic coffee shop scrawl. Next is the playlist spread fashioned after a Spotify playlist. Again, I don't always include this in my spreads, but I thought if any theme needed it, it was this one. And now I'm taking my stencil ruler to draw out some perfect circles so I don't have to worry about messing them up and drawing my little uh, pinecone mascot because this is the teeniest pinecones playlist. And of course, I had to get some latte art in here somehow. My cafe never made it a priority to do latte art, so I never learned how, and I have always been so jealous of the people who can just do it in like two seconds. When I move back to the States in a couple months, I am actually planning on getting another coffee shop job, so hopefully that one will be more inclined. I normally leave these totally blank for me to fill out throughout the month, but I decided to fill out one song just as an example of the type of genre that'll be on this playlist. For all my Swifties out there, especially the ones who are obsessed with folklore, which let's be honest is all of them, you'll appreciate this song. Cardigan is the one. Dumb joke. Lastly is the weekly spread. And again, I wanted to recreate the chalkboard sign. So I used the same black brush marker for the chalkboard and then used my Uniball gel pen for the writing. And that is the mini calendar for this week. And I followed the same gradient from the monthly spread for the days of the week here. And 
And after writing in the days of the week and coloring in a couple more coffee rings, the spread is complete. And finally, we arrive at the final flip through. I hope you enjoyed. I know I really like how this turned out and I had a lot of fun talking about coffee fun facts and how much I love it. Again, all of the supply links will be down below in the description as well as my Instagram. See you next time.